Alrighty guys, we are back in it. You'll see we are loading midway onto um, our pink band already. This is Hilliard Esports coming at you live with League of Legends. Week three last week, unfortunately, in our play versus season, uh, the other team had to forfeit due to computer issues and sickness, things like that, which is unfortunate, but happens. So best of luck to those guys in their future matches. We are on to week three against the Maroon Raiders from Dwight Morrow High School. And we got, of course, our own, very own Hilliard Cybercats coming at you. I'm Mrs. Sturman, aka Maestro Pants, one of the Hilliard Esports advisors and League of Legends coaches, joined here by my partner in the bot lane and in life, Peter, hello, hello. Uh, aka Arya Deva. Nice to be here. I'm excited for the game today. All right, so looking, because we are coming straight onto these pick bands, what do you see right away? Okay, right away we have a. Uh... Quite a bit of bands to be expected coming out, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. From the side of Hilliard, we're obviously much more familiar with the players. We saw what happened when Mystical got his hands on that Oriana and that Yone before. And an mm -hmm. actual bird, mm -hmm. the Swain is a classic ban out for Absolutely. him. Uh, Aphelio, same for Gorf. And the Urgot, something that uh, Groove and Peruvian showed his skill on uh, just this Monday in the past match. So Yeah, so they have definitely done their research. Um, still leaving uh, the Warwick up on our side, which is nice. And actually, I don't think I've seen Mystical Syndra before, yeah, so I'm excited either. to um, see that. It'll be nice to see that. We have, of course, the other classic for Gorfon is Kaisa. She's gonna mm -hmm. show stuff on that. And an actual and... bird was an Alistar <laughs> main for a long time. I'm and... sure he will have the, the, the Moo. Uh oh, Cal Moo Cal Cal Alistar yeah. with the, mm -hmm. the cowbell to, you know, have some fun, have some music going Draven. on. Draven! Haven't seen Draven Rel. That seems like a that's a scary lane right there. Yeah, you know? Draven brings the damage and Rel brings that engage. Yeah, so talking a little bit more about these actual compositions and what they're thinking, what they're doing. Uh, Yorick is a champion we don't see a lot because mm -hmm. he's just a kind of like a niche main that the people that play him tend to play him quite a bit, and he's a really good split pusher. So beginning of the game, he's kind of weak. You know, he doesn't have the best trades, so have to be a little bit careful into the Mordekaiser, but. Later on, when he has his level 6, he has the Maiden up. Uh, he can actually send the Maiden into a side lane by itself to split push while he does something else. Or he can have the combat power of the Maiden with him when he's doing the fighting in the split pushing. So a very strong champion there for the split push effect. Of course, the, the Warwick a classic for getting those picks mm -hmm. once he's level 6, especially. Uh, Syndra, very good matchup into the TF. So as TF, you need to be really, really careful about Syndra's stun, about... Her just general status as an AP assassin, TF's pretty darn immobile. So he wants to be pushing, going to side lanes. Syndra has a lot of pressure there. Yeah, except um, for with his ult, which will be something that Hilliard has to keep in mind. However, I find the TF ult, while definitely a game changer and important, um, isn't doesn't have the same scare factor as a Nocturne ult. It's um, true, you know, you just see that he sees you, but you don't not see anything. So it's, yeah. it's a very different kind of ult, but... Um, if you have ever been in ADC one shot by either of them, <laughs> then you you know you're you afraid have, of everything. Yeah, exactly. Anytime you see a symbol, that means you might die. You're like, oh no, save me. Then support. again, for anyone who's seen the Warwick uh, animation thing oh, yeah, they came the, out with, the uh, that Riot and, did. Oh yeah. If you guys watching, even if you don't know a ton about League of Legends, if you ever just hop on YouTube, um, Riot puts out like music videos and really interesting like animation trailers and things like that that you could uh, definitely get some enjoyment out, even without knowing a lot about the game. Yeah, and you might uh, be a little bit more scared of the Warwick yes. sound in the game if you've seen the yes. trailer that they had for him, because it, it is quite scary. Hips Warwick is definitely, uh, let's say, hip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just bringing it back to this last little bit of the spectator delay here, talking about their team, uh, Draven, for those of you who don't know, is a very, very snowball -y champion. He's... Uh, basically going to get extra gold for any kills he gets if he has gotten minions or caught his axes in between the last time he got a kill. So um, going to want to not die to lose those, what they're called as stacks of adoration. Um, but if he is snowballing off of those kills, he is one of those types of champions that he runs at you, he one-shots you, and you're like, where'd my health bar go? 
So uh, Rel, very good to pair with that because she's a good engage mm-hmm. and a good peel champion. Uh, good at peeling away the Alistair, good at engaging for the Draven, Ooh. maybe setting up with the TF. So now we have the skins coming in so we can take a look Okay, I've not seen that skinnergy. That Yorick skin, that's kind of terrifying. And I gotta, I gotta talk to our jungler. I mean, I know he likes that Warwick skin. It's just so scary. Um, like in the pool party Syndra with the Kaisa looking, that's looking fly. Of course, the Mukha, we knew it. I do have to say that uh, <laughs> Maro's uh, Dwight Maro, I like the Musketeer Twisted Fate with the Neon Strike Vi. Oh yeah, very and much. And the Vi Mordekaiser, we didn't talk too much about that. What will that be like into the Hilliard comp? Um, so the Vi and the Mordekaiser. You just have to be careful around the objectives, and if the Mordekaiser does get ahead, then he is a great split pusher. So with the Mordekaiser ultimate, around objectives, you can take the other jungler out of the game. And that makes it very easy for the Vi to do what she wants to do, get that smite off, get a pick off, whatever needs to happen. Um, and in the split push, it's kind of the same thing, where if he is splitting, if he's ahead enough to be able to 1v1 anyone on the map, he can make it a 1v1. So even if you send two people after him, he's going to be able to pick out that person. He's going to be able to get that 1v1 fight he wants going. So um, looks like we are loading onto the rift now. Again, a hello to anyone watching. It is, we support you, we appreciate you, all that good stuff we really, really do. All right, and... There they oh, are, there loading they are. on Let's to see how the these rift. Seeing chromas the will are looking. Yep. I like it, I like it, you know. Mm -hmm. Respectable from both teams, I think. Yeah, we got the Alistar matching the hyena a bit. The GLHF oh, the, coming out. Good luck, Love have to see fun. It. Good sportsmanship. Definitely something that we try to... Um, promote and perpetuate at Hilliard Esports, and I'm not just saying that we really do. Wait, does Rel's horsey not have an actual horsey in it? Uh, there is an actual horsey in it. I think it's just a lot of armor. Oh, okay. Oh my. Okay, there's the cowbell. You know it's gotta happen, so at least they're getting it out of their system now. Yeah, you know, when no one can see, you just gotta, you gotta let it okay, all. Okay, that body is literally walking through the horse. I don't think there's a horse in there. Hey, you know, the mechanics of the uh, the rift don't always don't always uh, line up with what the physics would really be. And we have a uh, uh, Blake and Cam, former uh, Derby alums and former league players, giving a shout out to um, the cowbell. So telling you all, and and again giving shout outs to our alums. We appreciate you guys watching and supporting. Okay, and pretty standard here, just yep. uh, getting the ward down in the pixel brush to check for any invades, getting the ward on the blue as well, and starting on the bot side of the map for both junglers. And we already see the poke coming out a little bit from the Syndra, just using that Q to not mm -hmm. only hit the TF, but also hit the minions, something that you always want to do on a, a champion as you're getting that initial push. You don't mm -hmm. want to just use the abilities on the minions or the person. Yep. That's a good one on Oriana too. A lot of these. Man, a lot coming out here. From yeah, the they are really back. I mean, you out. see it popped the potion on both sides. A little frozen. There we go. All right, top lane. A little bit of a gentleman's game. Not too bad right now. Yeah, Moving you know, a just little low. a little bit harder to get that exact harass off on champions that are melee. You know, you have a little bit more flexibility when you're. Uh, Range mm -hmm. and level two coming out for the Yorick. He does get a little trade in there. You can see the nicely done. The little grave robbers saying, you know, our our uh, Yorick told us to go attack you, so we will obey. Let's see, two advantage to the red side and taking the engage. That's very well done. Landing that stun. Gorf has to flash out. Top lane also having some action. That was well played by the raiders um, to recognize their level two advantage and and press that. So yeah, very that's... nicely done. Looks like Ooh, he might go for it. Going in, Alistar able to help out landing that double knock up there, but Gorf is pretty low, so he can't follow up too much here. We have a gank. Beautiful flash from Mystical. Um, escaping that by saving his life. We'll see if there's a repeat kink for that later, if she'll try to take advantage of that ex flash being down oh, or man. this bot. Um, that's a lot of damage. And this is what we were talking about, folks. That Draven damage... I mean, like, the D in Draven, Draven stands for damage, you know, it's... Yeah, they call him damage Draven sometimes, you know? Do they? No. No, wait, wait. why'd you say that, baby? Let because me the straight. D stands for damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
as actual bird, our support oh, loves to gang. say. Well, just kind of mm -hmm. showing up, making sure the Mordekaiser stays safe, but those two flashes being down for the side of Hilliard does make the job for this Vi uh, fairly easy in the next few minutes, especially because she still has her flash. So mm -hmm. what you can do on the Vi is you can charge up that Q, you can actually flash while it's charged up. And uh, you can oh. get a gank off. We might have Warwick a... coming in here. He's trapped in there. The flea, the flash is out from Warwick. Is he going to try to chase under turret? No, but that's a lot of damage. He's going to be first out of lane. Nicely done. All right. So probably going to have to blow the TP here to get back to lane as the Mordekaiser Vi hovering around, maybe just to catch the wave for Careful, him. Careful, guys. Rel's looking for that engage. This is, like we said, this is a very dangerous bot, game, bot lane. So Hilliard needs to play it safe, be cool. And let that Syndra get huge. Oh, that double. And they're playing it very well. They're landing a lot of these knockups. Let's see. In return, Giga, there's stuff happening all over the map. Mid lane, he's going to get the first flood. It's going down. Oh, flash out. my gosh. And he's calling that the flash happened and the Mordekaiser teleport. All these summoners going on simultaneously. Mordekaiser flashed as well. Yeah, so the solo wow. play in there for Mystical to get the flash out of the TF and almost that first blood. And oh, like, I was also so Also, almost close. first blood in the top lane. As the uh, the TP back from the Mordekaiser did lead to that 2v2 where the Yorick had to flash out himself. So uh, lots of flashes down to capitalize Ooh. on. We still uh, we still got another about two and a half minutes on that first one that was blown by Gorf. So we're going to be seeing some action. Yep, that was, that was like a well-coordinated attack on all fronts there from everybody. As we have a look at the CS numbers here, even though we had the pressure in that bottom lane, Gorf doing very well, keeping mm -hmm. up in the CS actually slightly ahead. He is pushing in that wave, so uh, probably going to even back out there, but we have another gank mid. And let's see here. Oh, landing that mystical, finding himself in a tough place, not having that flash still, but able to just walk and chill, chill yeah, out you know, there. The stun on the TF there was key in, able to, in being able to uh, stop the CC chain. Uh, so very smart play by Mystical to prevent that from being more than just a bit of damage out. I think it would have been a kill if the stun had gotten off. Yep. And as we see the resets coming in, uh, we have a Sheen coming out from the Draven, Ooh. probably rushing his Essence Reaver. Um, and a, a Dirk, the classic first Kaisa Bai, to uh, work her way into her first Mythic afterwards for her Q Evolve. So uh, in the top side, we're going to see a, a trading advantage to the Yorick with his Sheen versus just that Amp Tome. Uh, so maybe something he's going to capitalize is on. It, is it Ed? Hmm? Is it Ed Sheen? Oh, wait, no, Ed Sharon. Never mind, forget. That was a that was, uh, end of the week joke, folks. It didn't quite quite hit. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> let's look back down in a bot lane. Hey, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of a sheen to the jokes that are made. Sometimes but there is not. someone. There is someone with the last name of Sheen. There, I think it's like an Charlie actor sheen. or something. Thank you. Thank you. No, <laughs> one of those people. <laughs> one of those people with the names and stuff. Oh, maybe a kill. Oh, it, no. stun cut. Beautiful. And Mystical knew we needed something else to talk about. He decided to give us first blood. Um, landing that stun beautifully on the as a Syndra, and there was nothing that he could do by coming in to clear these minions out, but... Yeah, still just a level 5 on the Vi and a level 7 on the uh, Syndra, so it has damage. to be careful there. And yeah, the, the Mordekaiser really pressing his advantage up here. Gonna have to watch out. Uh, like we talked about before, Mordekaiser wins this matchup early, so the Yorick just kind of trying to safely scale up into that split-pushing beast he will become. And Yorick really depends a lot on his poke, you can see. Uh, Mordekaiser has the shield to go back against it, and that's pretty far up for Gorf. Ooh. He needs to be careful. Yep. Because uh, Draven His has that... flash is back up, which is good. But you don't want to just blow it in the 2v2. Exactly. Um, especially Warwick is positioning down here. There's a pink. Getting and the I mean, there's some good... Yeah, there's some good vision down here. Vi making her way. Everybody turning their eyes to Drake. Oh, Alistar landing that double knockup. Let's see. The good damage. Stun lands down onto it. Heal comes out. Flash comes out also. And Ignite is not going to be enough to take him down. But they look to the rail. Vi is here, though. But so is Warwick going on in there. Do nope. they Six, do they not? No oh, but Twisted Fate also here, so they're not sure if they want Syndra can this. Collapse, so though. they can come. But is Syndra coming? She is. She's on her way. Sun lands. And they are re-engaging back. And Alistar finds himself in a tough position, having to flash out. But he is killed. There's a lot of damage coming down here. Syndra, Syndra not right here yet, but this will be a 3v4. Do they want it? He lands a double stun, but don't think they want it as he There's just backs off. Let's see. More coming, and they're in the little 
death yeah, he realm. Can't move any further. Oh, and that is him down. Like Peter had said, he's not quite at the power spike that he wants to be as the Yorick. Um, and now Mystical trying to get a kill, stop this Drake push. I believe in you. Well, Vi the sun Vi lands, still but level five oh, here, okay, so she okay. doesn't have her ultimate up. You know, this fight changes a lot if Rel oh. has her all, if uh, uh, Vi has her all, but. Yeah. Uh, knowing that he can still pressure because the Vi only has that Q to play with, a very smart play from Mystical there. Yep. And in the end, only one going down, a lot of... Uh, well, two in the top, too. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, with the top as well. But in that bot fight, only the one going down. And yep. you can see the reset timing actually does Ooh. give us priority on the Drake as Hilliard. And by so, us, we say totally, yeah, completely yeah, totally non-biased that yeah, go Hilliard, always. go Cybercats. Um, we got the Drake. <laughs> and uh, two level advantage here in the mid lane. So this TF in a really rough spot. And this, let's see, Vi hanging out. Oh! Oh my and god. And so, as Syndra, you always talk about the one shot oh. potential. You always talk about the level of snowball where she can just take someone off. Even the map. though this is the pool party skin the, and not the the wintry skin, it's she true. can still snowball. She, she can. Um, and it's not Aram. And uh, the the difference between a Syndra that can do that and a Syndra that can't is incredibly. Uh, different for the potential on the map and what that threat is so i mean uh, under turret exactly and and we can see that now with uh, 66 cs at borderline 10 minutes and two kills he is getting to that point already with his mm -hmm. lost chapter does have the dark seal as well so might be working towards that medjai's later and, and this, this allows like you were saying down. this allows the pressure that we've been able to get the drake and now jungler can get that rift and what we were talking about in Champ Select is what TF wants to do and why this is such a difficult matchup. He wants to be able to shove out the lane against another champion and roam for those ultimate plays because that's his whole thing. But if the enemy mid laner has the pressure, and we might have them um, going for a mid, no, it looks like they're going to just back off. Okay, Scuttle maybe, goes maybe. over to Hilliard. Oh, Syndra's found her new game of... One WQ, of, look at yep. that. She's found a new game of uh, hide and seek or, you know... Pop goes scare, the or hide weasel and pop, or, or hide just and lots kill, of. Or... <laughs> Let's just attack TF as much as we can wherever he is, and but, uh, TF does not like know, it. Going back to what we were saying about the the TF, like what is he going to do? He's pushed under his tower. He uh, either has to. And he can die there, as we've seen. Exactly. He either has to just take this harass, maybe get. Oh, oh if my that gosh! Stun lands. If it oh my! Look at the damage, folks! Holy schmoly! But he is not getting to press that ultimate button. He's not getting to roam like he normally would, so... Uh, oh! And Warwick hungry for it, jumping in, eating him on the back. Now, that being said, that was... I mean, that wasn't a really rude back. I mean, not rude. So, um, so when you hear the Warwick sound, you yes. need to be a little bit more you careful. You need but to here, be more careful. Here, have the ultimate from the Alistair coming Let's out see, as they coming engage. In. Oh, beautiful stun! There we go, into the wall. Let's see all this damage. Draven all coming down, but not enough to save him. Very nicely done. But you also see Groovin getting that 1v1 in the top. This is what we're saying. He's getting fed enough that he can... He can take that matchup on and it's very different than before he's also almost 30 cs up which is great cs matters folks um yeah. and what I, well just to really to go back to what i was saying it's not a not a rude back but um you have to be careful where you back and just yeah, be sometimes, conscientious sometimes people call them the greedy backs greedy where, thank you yeah you'll, you'll um, just uh back in a place that's not so safe and but... just remembering that warwick is a champion on the map and with his alt and he can find you um that was that made that back scarier greedier than it would have normally been exactly and as the tf that's normally a pretty safe to position to back in it's just yeah. the champion and we might have another kill here coming out for the morty is in the yeah, ultimate he has the stats. Yeah, in the realm. Let's see Groovin getting pretty low and that is. So it is just a slugger fest up there in the top lane. Yeah, back and forth and back and forth and we can see in the CS numbers uh we do actually have a pretty big gold advantage for Groovin cuz he got those plates, he got that tower, he got the CS advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh but you know, I'm wondering about this buy with the Bramble Vest. It's not typically what you'd see against the Mordekaiser, because he does have some healing, but maybe not enough to mitigate. That could be why. Oh, he all... wanted it! He had the home guard seat to the sun. Is it enough to finish it? No, he flashes out, gets a flash, but careful. Bye is here. Is this gonna be a return kill? Oh no, he's got the he's got the moves. Yeah, so Vi exactly. did not have her ultimate. If she did, that was definitely a kill. And now threatening again because he knows Warwick's in the wings. Let's see. Sweeper coming out in black. Clearing out that vision. Yeah, you show that ward, Alistair. Yeah, we do have that Drake coming up soon, so I'm assuming that's what he is setting up for. Uh, see the vision ping coming out, knowing that the river is indeed warded. So good tracking there. 
And Warwick is up on the top side. We'll see if he meanders on down. We see some difference in the CS in the bot lane, but not too bad. Unlike almost a 50 CS difference in oh, there. All we'll see going on in the sun lands. Good flash out from that. Gorf is able to save his life with that flash. And there's some top lane fighting. And we're just back and forth because there's so much happening. Yeah, so great peel from the Alistair there. You saw that he actually headbutted back to Draven instantly when he saw it was a bad engage. Gorf needs oh, to be careful. Oh, they're trying to re-engage, though. Again, Mystical is... I mean, at this point, that was nice, though, that he wasn't able to finish that. Good job, TF, with that. But, uh, I mean, it's not bullying if you're showing your skill with that. But, ooh, good. Oh, that. oh no, the ult! Oh, Draven all coming back, and he gets that kill. Yeah, we can see the huge influx of gold for the Draven now, over a thousand gold ahead in that bot lane matchup. The Mordekaiser are really getting bullied, though. You know, you yeah. can see the difference that the ultimate makes in these trades that have yep. been going on. When the Mordekaiser is in that ult, that's when he's typically winning the 1v1. Ooh, and with this bot lane uh, priority... I don't know if they can do this, though. The Syndra's here. Syndra's here, and she wants... He oh, stole it. he stole the Drake. Let's go. And now he's in here. Alistar coming to help him out. Says, never mind. Ope says, yeah, we can because Syndra is here and we can 2v3. She's trying to get the damage down. She is done though. But now there's even more people. I don't know if we wanted 2v4. He knew it. That's okay. These things happen. Yep, I think a little bit of a split call there. You saw the Syndra yep. backing off as the Alistar went in. And, uh, you know, the TF does have his ultimate when he's coming into the play. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. even if he can't use it for roaming in the laning phase, he can still change the fight dynamic quickly. Um, so something to keep in mind for the future fights as we see the map reset after the Drake. You know, getting that steal is huge. Mm -hmm. So great job from N8HGP there. Um, making sure that he locked that down and gets the soul stacking continuing for the side of Hilliard. All right, let's see it landing in there. Like, you see the little maiden thingy up there doing the bidding of Yorick. Yeah, you, you can see how much lane. damage the maiden does, right? Just kind of standing there, uh, literally sucking the life out of them. And That's very, very greedy, sir, for you to uh, run up there when there's a hungry hyena oh, maybe a pick. thing. Let's see, Rel heading back. Oh, beautiful flash out and it's able to avoid that knockoff. That was very nice. Yeah, very nicely done. Uh, something I did want to mention earlier before the, all that action happened. We do see the Syndra going for the phase rush right now. Uh, it's very much a viable rune that you can go for. Um, the electrocute is something else we also see. So some of these kills that are very close would have been gotten by the electrocute, but you can also see the speed she has, the chase down potential she has being very different. We have some more action though. And, and Gorf is getting chased down by this Drave and Alistar are able to hold it back. I think you just want to peel. I don't think you want this. Make sure you avoid that on the way back. They might dive though. That's true, Syndra is here. And this turret is also super low. Let's see, and the Warwick here as well. Landing that stun, oh my gosh. Does it even count as a dive if all you have to do is tickle them from afar? And then they go down. Tell you what, that is a fearsome tickle that Syndra has there <laughs> with her uh, now completed Everfrost and Tear, and uh, only three stacks on the Dark Seal after that shutdown was gotten onto her, but building it back up with that Draven kill. All right, check it out. Vision in the river. And overall, we do see a pretty commanding gold lead for the side of Hillard. Oh, oh they see the okay, pick here. going on in. It says no, it's okay. Oh, but Syndra, we see some pings coming out. Oh, beautiful. Landing that stun. And we did have some knowledge dropped by our very own Cam Biros. Uh, Rel's horse is entirely made of metal, and they didn't yes. feel like it deserved a name. Oh, well, harsh there, but I knew I didn't see a horsey. Thank you. Thank you to our lore master, our very own lore master. If you have any questions, please feel free to, oh, to drop fight, them in chat. Oh, we got to fight. Let's see. Pulled out there. Warwick all coming in. That is death going down. A huge sun coming over on the side of the raiders. Flashes come out, and he is not able to make it out of that page. Oh, oh my gosh, Syndra! There's a lot of things happening! Okay, so let's just Please. break that down a little ah. bit. Because beautiful job by the Syndra. It got a little bit confusing with the yeah, spectator because the Mordekaiser was in his death realm. But uh, yeah, the yeah. Syndra recognizing the opportunity to back uh, get the back line there with the Draven kill totally turned the fight. And that entire time, why it looks so rough for Hilliard, Gorf is here split pushing in the bottom That's lane. True. And because they were able to win the fight without him, this becomes a fantastic play for mm -hmm. them. Uh, they are able to get that Herald. They now have on the split pushing Yorick. They're able to get that tower in the bottom lane, get the and team fight so win. And so much pressure in and the mid lane. You can see the gold lead 
ballooned from that just about 3.5k before and now they are about 7k so great something play tells me syndra is going to be banned next game something tells me it is hard to ban out this man mystical in the mid lane just yeah his stuff it's, if, if it's a champion and it does damage he can play it and but that is also to be said like like peter had mentioned the team taking advantage exactly. and using the spell. We, we that was a nice flash here. from the Mordekaiser, but Groovin has enough damage to finish down the 1v1. Very nicely done. So that's the thing. It's not just a one-man show. All of Hilliard is stepping up with this TP coming in. Well, this is going to be close. To help out. Mystical is able to come in, lands that stun, gets that kill. Groovin is getting pretty low, but his maiden's still around. And they're just afraid of this. Now we have Aura coming in. Getting, oh, good flash out from the TF. Rel is caught off. And that, oh my gosh, that damage on the Draven. Yeah, Rel Draven goes doesn't down. quite go down there, man. It's so, so close. And so the close. way that Hilliard is dancing out these fights is really, really yeah, well really done. Nice. I'm very job, impressed. Guys. You know, they are Kite calling team. for help when they need it. They're mm -hmm. not overstepping when they're waiting for it. And very impressive stuff. Yep. Now moving down for this Drake, I believe. Warwick and uh, maybe Alistair for the assist are going to take it. Or Alistair's just going to roam to the mid lane as they pressure this top side. And... We had talked about the Yorick and a split push threat, and you can kind of see that Ooh, coming out now. Let's see he what is, happens in the death row. Oh he's my just gonna gosh! He's come out of here. He's so gonna keep pressuring. So much damage. Yeah, he's here now, and then the Vi is in a really tough spot. And the Maiden almost taking out the Vi. The minions going for it. I don't think they quite get it, but man, she was low. And uh, he Harold is running Dean out of mana taken now. Down They're the, just trying uh, to get the last couple autos on the inhib. inhib. Oh, he wants it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, not quite able to get that, but um, something they can move back up towards later because they do have this threat now. And Oh, and meanwhile... As, as we're looking, you know, the uh, top lane gold is very different than the last time we looked at it. He is now almost 5,000 gold up. Oh my so, gosh, and 700 gold shut so, down to so him. So quietly uh, just being a split push beast in that mm -hmm. top lane, showing his stuff. And uh, like we said, all the players from Hilliard really working quite well together. Yep, you see uh, shutdowns on three of them and definitely helping out. I mean, I feel like that Warwick almost should have more assists because he's been in the thick of so many of these fights and skirmishes. Let's see here, Mystical, having some dancing shoes. And you can see the power of that Everfrost, being able to lock down the Draven so he can't chase her down. Where's that Draven all? There it engage. is. Careful, boy. Careful. It's coming. All right, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to tickle the war uh, Yorick a little bit on the way back. No big deal there. And big objective on the map right now is this baron so we'll see how they decide to dance around it maybe just going for this mid lane tower that's quite low and a oh no i'll start hopping in there like a vi that was a beautiful flash beautiful flash through the wall from the vi to escape that but that is flashed down and second tier turret going down for hilliard as well and oh my gosh that damage you just you can't breathe if you're the the, the raiders right now because there's so much damage coming at you from all sides that if you misstep or you step up too much or you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, the Syndra is going to find you and going to obliterate you. Yeah, the Syndra does or have the 10 Warwick. stacks on the Dark Seal right now, so uh, definitely going to uh, do a lot of damage and maybe even get that Medjai soon. And look at just how much the Maiden's doing against the, the Mordekaiser. At this point, it's almost hard for him to 1v1 the Maiden, but we do have some help coming uh -oh. up. He might be in trouble. Yeah, Groovin in a tough space, trying to finish off this kill at least. He wants it, but yeah, he, this might be him going down. This is a lot of time that he's buying with this many people. That's pretty impressive. And you can see and how they're using this time. to go and get the Baron. Very well done, guys. Good call. He says, I'll, I'll keep him busy, and then you go do that. And that is the way of the split pusher. You know, you you do what you can. You get out if you can. They're trying to steal with the dragon. Oh, they are all. trying to Showing steal. That's actually pretty good. Oh, in. TF coming. They know. <gasps> oh. Oh, <laughs> that chain was beautiful. Yeah, even. I don't know if it was quite intentional to knock him I away with the say, Alistar, I, but I, I, the yeah. W coming out from Gorf to follow it up. Yeah, he's like, wait, I want to get some kills butt. too. Yep. Oh, that's so funny. Um. Resetting as a team here, getting yep. back on the map, and, uh, you know, when you get to this point with a split pusher, like we were saying, it becomes so hard to deal with, so suffocating, because if you do send those maybe three, maybe even four people it's needed to take down that beefy split pusher, it takes a long time, and they have enough time to just do the Baron. So, uh, you know, yeah, maybe you got the thousand gold, and maybe that's a, a you know, good hopeful thing, but... Um, at the same time, you just gave up 1,500 gold and the next and three minutes of pressure. And so much pressure, yeah. And especially, you know, you think about these drakes and Hilliard has three drakes. I, that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure you're feeling. But, you know, 
Maybe I'll turn it into a diamond. Yeah, I believe uh, Baron still will be up when they have this next so, Drake spawning. Yeah, so uh, maybe getting the pick on Vi, too. Oh, she was pushing out pretty far. and Oh, my gosh. And now, now Mystical's like, hey, man, I'm fed. I have a lot of kills. I'm going to be your support as well. Hey, you know, I'm going to stun him. Uh, oh, having having uh, two and a half items completed on this Kai'Sa, he's quite the team yep. fighting beast himself. And, yep, yep, oh, yep. good Ooh, flash from the Draven. TB coming in, that's pretty... Far up though, Draven all coming out, and Hip does go down. Yep, good job knowing their limits here on the side yep, of Hillier, getting that in Hip backing out. Um, Yorick happy to keep on splitting in the top side. He does have the teleport for this Drake that will be coming up, so pressure from the top and the bot now with that in Hip down for the soul fight. I feel like we need to have some kind of like Cam's corner or like Lore Master Cam's corner or something where like, if like people little, have little... lore questions, then they can ask and we can. Send it his way. Exactly. You know, we can have a, a question. We can have even like a little segment that gets mm -hmm. done. And... Feel free in chat if you have any questions. Pop them on in, or if you have any any thoughts or want to shout out, you can hop on into Twitch chat and let us know. Let's see, Grubin continuing the split push, getting down that inhib on his own. This. I wouldn't. I, this is death again, three v one. But now here comes the work. Gruvin flashes to save himself, but also to get the kill. He's like, I worked hard for this. It's mine. And now it's just an absolute bloodbath in their base. Oh, that was beautiful. Although, and Draven is able to get one. Lots of damage coming down, but that's about it. Mystical then on a charge along with an eight HGP. Man, and, and that's game. And with the Death Realm, you have to wonder who is trapped in with who as we see mm -hmm. the, the Surrender Vote come out. They knew that the Nexus was going down. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of back and forth plays there. But great job from Hilliard uh, closing it out. And great job from the red team sticking it in there. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and now we'll be on to game two. So don't go anywhere, guys, unless you need to grab a drink of water or uh, a snack. And we'll be back for game two here shortly.